All right, y'all, welcome back. It's your boy King Row Fit, and we back at AMP today. So I haven't done chess this week, and Sean is here. My boy came back in town so we could shoot. So I'm gonna make sure Sean gets some work in with me today. We're gonna change it up. He's not just gonna be shooting. He's gonna do push-pull with me. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna have the swollest cameraman of all time, and today is the start of his journey. So we're gonna get it in today. We're gonna have some fun with it, and then later on, we got a little bit more of a surprise. It's gonna be a long day, so stay tuned and tap in with us. Don't, and don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And tell everybody you know about it. Share it, tell your mama, your grandma, all of them too. All right, let's work. with a little bit of pull first, right? Anytime you do a push pull, you wanna start off with back. to send blood flow to your lat. So that's gonna help you make your pushes a lot stronger if you got blood flow in your lats already. So that's how we gonna start it off, the right way. So let's get this lat pull over here. Let's get to work. Getting a membership here, bro. I like this gym. The vibe is different. The lighting is fire. Can't miss in here. You can't miss. I look. We look good in here, bro. We can't lose. Stop playing with us. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna get warmed up. First couple of sets. Start off a little light, just to get hot. I really like the mag grip. Oh, they got one. Yes. About to switch this one out. This is an out real quick for the little mad grip. Why are you switching the grip? Uh, this one's a lot more comfortable for me and I get a lot a lot better squeeze with my lats holding on this grip. That wide grip right there, it just don't fit for my body. Right, it's just not a perfect fit for me. Ever since I switched to mag too, I use a lot less forearm. So I don't get that forearm tightness that you get when you be squeezing onto the bar. And a lot of people, a lot of people's forearms tap before they lats tap. That happens a lot, especially to my new clients. Whenever we do like a regular bar grip, they'll tap way earlier. They're like, yo, my back is still good, but my forearms is tight. With this, you don't really gotta worry about that. All of that's gone. All right. Keep that body back, control that weight coming up. Lead with the elbows. Control the weight coming up. A lot of times, a lot of times we let that weight fly up. That's not really working on lats on both sides. You got, your, your muscles work two ways. So work them both ways, all right? Full. Good little 15, get hot set. Yes, sir. Now it's Sean's turn to get in there. Sean in the lab. Stop playing with my boy. <laughs> That's why we go on light. Go light. Get some eccentrics. Focus on that. Focus on that, that weight coming up. Let your body warm up. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Hey, cameraman Ro. Y'all see the angles? I'm tough with it. To the back. And my boy came back with the fresh braids too. I didn't even know my boy was braided up. My boy came with the fresh braids on me. How he trying to show me out, bro? 
How you trying to show me? I got braided up last week, but it's okay. It's okay. You can't do me like that. <laughs> All right. One more warm-up set, and then we'll really start working. I take two warm-up sets, and then I start my working sets. All right? I really let blood get to my lats, and then I get to work. The tempo I'm giving y'all on the way up is three, two, one. So I'm giving you that nice control three, two, one tempo. Last one, control. Yeah. All right, now I'm definitely warmed up. So that next set, when I hop on there, we're gonna start moving some weight for real. All right, so I had to take this one so I can isolate that back a little bit better. Isolate each lat, boom. All you need is a single arm cable or a single arm rope. This ain't the high road that I wanted, but we gonna make it work. Still controlling it on the way up, and I'm still focused on the eccentric every time. That's my, that's my go-to, and that's my game changer, and that's what separates me. At this point. Ugh. And I still wasn't even that bad of a weight neither. Straight. Sean turned to tap in. Yeah, you'll be straight with the 45. Yeah, told you. Show that weight coming up, Sean. I ain't get to take the other side off. I ain't get to take this off. Like he said, he on ego lift. He get what he control. This is where you really separate your chest at, right? Everybody has a flat chest. Everybody worries about bench press. Everybody worries about their middle of their chest. But what really separates you is having that top be able to poke like that, you feel me? So incline press is always my go-to. This is something that I focus on anytime I touch chest. I touch some part of my upper chest. So we got this chest press on here. I actually like that. They got the little hammer snare chest press. This is, a lot of gyms don't got this no more. So I love that about here. I don't even know if I was supposed to put two plates on there, but it's two plates on there now, so it ain't no going back. That had better move, too. All right, working that chest, make sure them shoulders get out of it, all right? You don't want your shoulders activated. You don't want your shoulders pushing the weight. We already know our shoulders can't maintain that much weight. We want to make sure our chest and our triceps are doing all the work. So Sean hopping in on his chest press. Work this upper chest right here, right? Like I told you, a lot of people, everybody worry about that flat bench. Everybody works about that middle of that chest. We wanna do the same tempo on here. So when you coming down, Sean, give me that three, two, one. Control it coming down and then come up with the power. There you go. Now, three, two, one. 
we really focus on the eccentric the whole time. That's what we're building our strength at. And that's what we're making our muscles work. Because you already know your muscles gonna work on the concentric. When you squeeze at the top, you already know that's gonna happen. We're coming back down. That's what we like to give our muscles a break. But not here. Not at this party right here. We make sure the muscles work both ends. There we go. Good stuff, bro. There you go. Solid. Them solid reps right there. Yes, sir. Them solid reps right there. Yes, sir. Good push. That's it right there. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. My first experience on this, that thing hit your chest perfectly. Like, it's not, it's not a flat bench. It's not a dumbbell press. I don't know what to call it. Supine, supine, supine press. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but I'm gonna do a little bit more research under this because this is hitting perfect. I, I don't know if it's because my, my upper chest is activated from over there, but as soon as I got to like my third or fourth rep, and I only had one plate on there at that point, so two plates is really gonna hit. But as soon as I got to that third or fourth rep, it really started to hit. Like my chest caught on fire, and I don't know where it was coming from, but it worked and I liked it. So we stick it to this. I like this. I'm, I'm definitely gonna come back to this gym a couple more times to uh, just get some work in on some days, just to change it up, change up the scenery. Like I was saying earlier, this, this makes me want to lift. New people, new vibe, new element, new lights, new colors, stuff like that, new smell. This makes you want to just, you know, get back into it. So like I said, if y'all having trouble getting into your workouts or you don't want to go work out at your gym because you go there every day and you see the same people, try out another gym. I know there's more gyms in your, in your, in your neighborhood that you could try out, so go do that. Let's get back to this work. So we're about to finish off with some flies. I told you it's not a full chest day. It's not a full back day. We got T in here. He about to finish it up with us today. So flies is another one of my go-tos that's gonna really help build my chest. Once again, eccentric is the, is the main point, the focal point on this. As I'm coming out, my chest is getting that stretch. I'm opening up my chest and that's what I'm really focused on. Here, the squeeze is not really where I'm focused on in this. I'm not focused on the concentric. I'm thinking all, all eccentric this whole set, all right? And I'm gonna just change it up a little bit, give us a different look. And let's go with these dope, dope ass dumbbells. I don't even really know what to call them. Dumbbells, I guess. <laughs> I guess they still dumbbell. And I wish I would have set the seat up before I grabbed these dumbbells. But we focus on the incline still. <sighs> oh, these hit a little different. Super set a little quick. Oh yeah, my chest is about to be torched after that. Whoo! You wanna put him down? Oh boy. That hit. Damn. Them 45s hit just now. Damn. <laughs> Them things hit. <laughs> there you go. Come on. There you go. Come on, T. Let's work, let's work. Good stuff, bro. Just like T focusing right now, 
Make sure that stretch is on your chest and not your shoulders. Look at that, perfect. In that chest, I know that chest here right now. All eccentric and he fully under control. Never rushing. Even though it hurt and you want to rush. <laughs> no rushing. We want the gains over that. Yeah. Good stuff, bro. Smooth. Oh yeah, close ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Come on, T. Come on, T. Keep pushing, bro. Get him up there. Get him up there. Give me one more after this. Give me one more after this. Give me one more. I know. Come on, bro. Work, work. Get up there. Yes, sir. Good push. Good push. Good push. Damn. And that's the difference when you got somebody you lifting lifting with you, bro. I got Sean lifting and I got T lifting. So that just make you push even harder every time. Can you still build your quads without back squats, barbell squats? Like, if you tired of barbell squats oh, for from sure. sports, uh -huh. doing it all those years, it take a toll on, on your back. And your knees, too. Your knees and everything. Yeah. Like for football, it can yep, yep. pound and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So what are, what are better alternates to build your quads the same way with power yeah. and with size? So what I'll switch to is hack squat, right? It's controlled. You don't got to worry about loading on your back. The machine does everything for you. you. You just brace your core, and all you worry about is loading your quads the exact same way. And my quads have definitely responded better doing hack squat because I'm not worried about my knee pain. I'm not worried about my tendonitis. I can adjust my feet to exactly how I want to want them to, and still get actually better depth. I get more depth now in a hack squat than I was on a barbell squat because of my knees and my I'm flat footed and knee tendonitis. You can also do split squats, okay. right? Focus on single leg, elevate one leg and, and focus on that one, that one quad at a time and, and, and actually grow it the exact same way as a barbell squat. So what about the rep count? Does the rep count change with hacks to pose the barbell? Nah, the I, load, I load the weight. You can still load the weight. You can go really high. Like right now I'm, on, I'm to the point where I'm doing four sets, five plates on a hack squat and that feels like 315, three something on a, on a barbell squat. You feel me? Like I'm still moving that same weight and it's directly on my quads. I'm not feeling any pain. I'm not tearing up any other muscles. And it, it's a lot better on my body, bro. I feel a lot a lot more put together than when I was tearing myself up doing heavy barbell squats, bro. Because sometimes I feel even with the barbell squat, uh, some people don't know how to how to squat uh, Correct. properly. To, yeah. uh, they arc they back with heavy yeah. weight. Yeah. Putting a lot of compression. On your lower back. On the lower back and, they and spine. the spine. Yep. So, we're just trying to find our different all You could, you could do, um, a lot of times, bro, it's crazy how, how our ego over the time of kills course, us, right? Of course. You could do a, a Smith machine squat, bro, and load the same weight as you can on a barbell squat and do it a lot better. You could do it controlled. You just All you got to do on the Smith machine is adjust your feet in front of you a little bit more, and you could sink right into your hips just like you would on a barbell squat and hit your quads the same way. You can load up the same weight, bro. Same thing on a, on a bench press, too. Okay. Like we do a lot of free weight incline bench press. I, I done switched to uh, Smith Machine bench press and I load up three plates, two plates on there and it feels just like a, as if I was doing a regular barbell incline press and I'm under control. So what is the, I feel like with the Smith Machine, a lot of men have egos and they quote unquote think that's not lifting. It's lifting. It's lifting. I, I done learned from bodybuilders, bro. I didn't, people didn't like, I done looked into them okay. and like I started watching their videos. I'm like, oh damn, they don't even, they don't even go on here and put 10 plates on on a on a uh, free weight free weight bench. They go to a Smith machine and then they put three four plates on that and then they directly hit their chest without messing up their shoulder, without messing up other joints in their body and they long, they last a lot longer in the game. You feel me? That's what I want to do is longevity. I want to look good. I'm not worried about what the next man doing. For sure. It's not my ego no more. Sure. I'm kind of growing out of that point. I, yeah. I'm not saying I didn't have the ego. I had that for sure. Like you getting stronger, getting stronger. You like I want to bench press 315 yeah. free weight, man. If you want to look good and you want to last in this, bro, stop doing all that and take the machines that you got. They there for a reason. Got Show you. me, bro. Got you. Let's make it work, bro. You already know. You got hey. King roll fit. Alphas only fit. Alphas only. Hey, we going y'all wait. Something coming from us too. Just wait. Just wait on it. It was a reason we both we was yeah. both in here today at the same time. So we got something cooking up. Exactly. Exactly. We are gonna set it up. Good summer. It's a good summer. All right, yo, great day at AMP today, bro. This was fun. Like, we had a dope vibe in here. I know y'all see this lighting. This is, this is dope. Um, great push-pull day. I hope y'all like the content. I hope y'all like the workout, actually. Take that with you and take those notes that I'm giving to you.
Made some dope connections in here today. Linked up with some people we haven't seen in a while. Sean put in some work. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. King Row Fit, we out of here. Enjoy your day.